If you're an accountant or a professional advisor, this is how you could transform your bottom line profit for your practice. But then more importantly, you could then actually do the same for your clients. And if you do the same for your clients, you could obviously charge to do that and increase your revenue streams. And it all focuses on the importance of a few key numbers and then a few key behaviors, which are called key drivers. So if you know the numbers you want to affect and you can identify the things you need to do to improve those numbers, then you, you write those out. They're your key drivers and they're part of your plan for the quarter for the year. And you make sure you do them. So the way it works is with your leads, how many do you generate at the moment? And could you increase that figure by 10 percent here? So if you generated 100 leads a year, could you actually get that number up by 10 percent? Well, I can show you at least 20 ways of doing that, most of which work for most businesses and practices and which would be fairly simple to explain to your clients and to get them to actually buy into as well. So we've increased that by 10 percent. Now, the other thing then is, can we increase our conversion rate? <clears throat> so let's say our conversion rate was 50 percent on those 100 leads. Well, we'd end up with 50 new clients. But if we could get the conversion rate up to 60 percent on the 110 leads, we'd now end up with 66 clients. Again, we can show you loads of ideas to do that, loads of strategies that work. What about your existing clients? Um, let's say you started off, you had 500 at the end of last year, but there's an attrition rate. Well, if you lost 20 percent of them each year, so you kept 80 percent, you'd have 400 existing clients on top of the new ones. <clears throat> What if you could get your retention rate up to 90% from 80%? Again, I can show you 20 ways at least of doing that, the, the vast majority of which would work for any practice, including yours, and would also work for your clients if you showed them what to do as well. The, the effect of doing that would be that we'd have 450 existing clients on top of the new clients we've generated. That would take our total number of clients from 450 to 516. Now, what if we could then increase our fees that we earn on average from each client? And we could do that by offering a wider range of advisory type services rather than the compliance work that maybe we focus on at the moment. But we could also show our clients, again, at least 20 ways in which they could increase their average prices, starting with obviously putting your prices up. But things like differential pricing and then things like having cross sells and upsells um, and, and loads of other ideas, you know, special promotions, etc. There's, there's loads of ways of actually doing that. And if we could get our average fee up from 1,000 to, say, 1,200, so that's a 20 percent increase. Well, our revenue goes up from 450,000 to 619. Now, because we've increased our average fee without working on our costs at all, so our direct costs won't have changed, or they certainly won't change significantly, our margin, our gross margin will automatically increase. So if it was 80 at the moment, because we're a professional service, <clears throat> so we have quite a high gross margin. Well, if it was 80 at the moment, um, th the fact of increasing our average fee would take that up to 83. So 83% on that revenue figure. And if you work out the numbers, our overheads won't have changed. So let's say we had 300,000 overheads originally. Well, we'll still have 300,000 overheads because they won't have changed. They're things like rent rates, you know, office salaries, etc. cetera. Um, but our net operating profit on those few small improvements has gone up from 60,000 to 216,000 which is a 360% of the original figure. So we've virtually, well, we've more than trebled our bottom line profit. And as I say, that there are many easy ideas to implement, which will help you achieve all of those small improvements I've talked about. So if you want to know more, have a look at bernardkeevy.com or make some sort of comment on the video or, or message me if you want to have a chat. But these are the ideas that you can use in your own practice, but they're also then ideas that you can use with your clients to get them these sort of improvements. I hope you found that interesting. Thank you very much for watching.